In this video, I want to show you how to do an advanced filter in Microsoft Outlook. Now, of course, we can always do a search up here. Any of the applications will have a search. So if I search for the word Microsoft, then it'll find me all the emails that will have the word uh, Microsoft in the title or anywhere in the body. All right, so that's just a quick and easy search. But let's do a more advanced search. By the way, I'm going to click on this X to get all the records back. Now, I'm going to come up here. I'll pick on the View menu. And we'll come over here and we'll pick on View Settings. Good. Now, notice on this window, we pick on the word Filter. So right away, you can see I can do a lot more choices. Let's say I'm searching for words in the subject only, or I just want to look in the subject in the body. All right, so um, this, let's do a more refined search. I can search if it's from somebody, if it's sent to. Uh, I can search for um, when it was received or sent. Okay, so that gives you some choices. Then I'll pick on the word more choices and you have even more things over here. Uh, I can pick on the categories. Uh, so we can say, you know, search for certain categories. We can find the ones that are unread or read. We can say if they have attachments or not. The high importance or low importance. Uh, if they're flagged. All right. We can match the case. We can search it by size. So you can see on this screen, we have a lot of great choices and really do a more of an advanced filter. The one I want to really want to show you is where it says advanced. Then I can do a more than one field. So in this case, uh, you have your different fields. Usually I use the frequently used fields, but you can see there's many fields in Outlook. Any one of those can be searched. Here, I'll say from, and I can say contains or is exactly, does not contain. So I'll type in the word Microsoft for the value. Now make sure you pick on the word add to list, and then notice how it adds it over here, and then I can have as many as I wanted to. So then I want the subject to have the word bill. So I have Office 365 and I get a monthly bill from Microsoft. So uh, I want the subject to contain the word bill and I'll pick on add to list. And now both of those are up there. You can have as many as you want it to. If you click on one of those, of course, you can remove it as well. But you would just keep on doing as many as you want to. Make sure you pick on Add to List for each one. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And I'll click on OK. Now notice how all of the, um, the emails in the From column has the word Microsoft. And in the subject, it has the word Bill. OK, so I was able to do a more advanced filter. Once again, I picked in the word View. And I picked in the word View Settings. Then you pick in the word Filter. And notice how you have different choices. You can combine as many of these as you wanted to. The size and all those. Now I picked on the word advanced, and then this is where I add more to the one criteria. Now when you're done with that, I'll pick on clear all. And when there's no criteria, it'll return all of your emails. I'll pick on OK. And I'll pick on OK again. Now everything is back. All right, so I wanted to really quickly show you how to do a more advanced filter in Microsoft Outlook.